Here's Drake London at the bottom of the screen. He is top five most targeted players in the National Football League right now. And it's an interesting play here for a chunk gain for the Falcons. Now, one player I want to keep an eye on is Kyle Pitts. He's in the slot. He's going to run this seam release right through the middle of the field. Now, this attracts so many guys on this defense. There's underneath defenders right up front here. All these underneath defenders are attracted by Kyle Pitts running through, and he affects his safety on the backside as well. So that's four players that Kyle Pitts attracts on this particular play. Now, what happens here is you're going to get Drake London running this end cut. One thing to notice here is what Drake does in the route. He keeps this route vertical. Now, important for that, he's keeping it vertical because he keeps this guy vertical and doesn't leak off the inside. Now, also what he does here, once he gets into his route and he's going to catch the football in here, one thing he does is very smart that a young player doesn't really have. He gets in here, he settles in here. He doesn't run full speed in here and runs into this backside safety or runs into this safety on this side. He does a good job of sending it down in the middle. So watch at the top of this route here. Now he's come out. Look how he's keeping it vertical. By keeping it vertical here, it keeps this guy's hips to the sideline. These guys have no inclination that he's coming down into the middle of the field. And now you see here's Pitts coming right through the middle to affect this safety, get his eyes to open up a huge void right in the middle of the field where he's going to catch this football as the play continues. Now watch him come out of this. He comes to come flat, but watch how he settles in the zone here, right in the middle of this zone so he doesn't run too far inside where he can't throw it in there. And look at him settle right inside. Now that's an easy completion. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 yards down the field completion. That is a chunk play, and that is how Drake London continues to be the most targeted player because of things he does in his route as well as outside the route. I want to thank you guys for joining me. I'm DJ Shockley. This is Film Review powered by Microsoft Surface. And we're going to show you a lot of good plays from Drake London and how he is affecting the game in just two games. Now, here's another instance for Drake London. Drake London is at the top of your screen here. You're going to get motion that comes across. Now, when he comes across, this is what happens. Usually, this is the guy that would have Drake London in man coverage. But because of scheme, because of play design, because of formation, by this motion, it forces everything to bump over. So now, because Brian comes across in motion, now this defender now has to guard the receiver coming outside. And because they're in cover three, he has a deep third. This guy here who's in flat is going to cover this third area. And now the guy that Drake's going to run this little inside hitch route is off the linebacker on the inside. Now, this is great design because that's the matchup you want. But what Drake does at the top of the route is really good, too. So now you see the dis distribution. Here's the, the, the flat defender going to the third. Here's the other third defender. Now, here's Drake right here in the middle running on this linebacker. Now, what he's going to do is he's going to come up here, and instead of just sitting here, he's going to throttle out of it really fast. But the important thing is, you got an outside comeback route. So that means you got a flat defender that's already out here, so he can't come screaming out of it. He has to sit it down and come out of it slowly. Now, look at this. He knows he's got good coverage. This is really good coverage by this defender. But because Drake turns his head inside, and now he works his way back outside, this is a great play and a great ball here. Now he creates a separation. Now, look at the separation now. Now he can walk, work out of this. Now he has a chance to catch the football and another chunk gain, 13, 14 yards on that game. Great ball, great ball placement, and a great route by Drake getting open, finding ways to get open. Let's talk about his touchdown play at the top of the screen here. Drake's first ever touchdown back home in LA, but it's all set up by Kyle Pitts. Here's Kyle Pitts right here in the slot. He's right here in the slot right here. Now he does such a great job of going vertical, but also going at the defender. Now, what happens is, all Drake is running is a one-step slant, and he's coming right down here now. But the work is done by Kyle Pitts right here. He creates the space to get him open. You see, he has a man coverage. His eyes are on him. He's going to go wherever he goes to get off coverage. But this is the guy they're working on. At the snap of the ball, you're going to see outside release, and they get vertical. Now, the importance of that is, by him stepping at this defender, it forces his feet to stop. When his feet stops and then he gets vertical, it forces his feet to stop again. And now Drake's got this one-step slant and he comes underneath. Now watch this step. Boom. Now look at this. Because he went vertical, now this defender has to go, do I go under or do I go over the top? But because this is just a one-step slant, he's already behind Drake on this particular route. And Kyle Pitts creates the space for Drake to come underneath. And now look, he's behind. Look how far behind he is. And now you just have this one-step slant and look at all the space for him to catch this football. And it's an easy walk-in touchdown for Drake's first touchdown 
as an NFL receiver, and it was all created by Kyle Pitts, his release, and getting vertical. Just an outstanding job of Kyle Pitts being the guy that helps Drake London get that first touchdown. When I talk about the nuances of receiver, there's so many things that goes into helping the guy get open. And as a rookie, you don't see this happen from many guys, but this is why Drake's got 13 catches in just two ball games because of things he does at the line of scrimmage and also in his route. Now, he's going to run a corner out right here that gets here. But the most important thing is, is how he runs it. He's going to stem inside. By stemming inside, this forces this guy to straighten up and go backwards. When he stems up and then he creates this room, there's so much room on the sideline to go, it makes it such a special route here. As he gets started, watch him stem inside. Boom, you saw that? He comes here and stems vertical. Once he gets vertical, this guy turns his butt to the sideline. So that makes it even harder for when Drake comes out of this that he can't turn his hips as fast as Drake can coming out of it. Now watch him stay vertical, boom. Now look at, now he wants to come out. He sticks his foot in the ground, and look at all this grass that Mariota has to throw this football to over here. It's just an awesome job of Drake creating a space on the outside, and look at the space he creates here at the top of the route. Now he comes out of it. Now look at this. Look at all this room that he's giving his quarterback to throw the football, and it's another chunk play because of his release. Let's go back to release one more time. Watch him come out of it, and watch him stem inside, boom. Oh, that's so important to him. Getting vertical here, forcing his butt to go outside, and now he creates room to the sideline. Now it's an easy pitch and catch, wide open, and this is why Drake has caught so many balls here in the first two ball games because of the things he does in the route that creates space for him to catch the football. Such a finely tuned route runner already as a rookie, and this is why Drake London 13 catches already in the first two games. Thank you guys for joining me. I'm DJ Shockley. This has been Falcons Film Review, powered by Microsoft Surface.